We'll guide you through how to download and install Fabric Mods in Minecraft 1.21.5. If you find this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Minecraft mods can really go and enhance the game, and they can go and add different features, and they're just a great add-on. So to get started, let's go and close Minecraft. So to go and do this, we need to go and get a mod loader. This will go and load the mods into the game, and then what we can do is start getting mods. So to get started, go and open up a web browser of your choice. I'll use Chrome. And what we need to do is go and type in Fabric, like so. You may need to type in Fabric Minecraft to find the right site, but come to fabricmc.net. Then what we can do is go and press download like so. We can press download for Windows. Fabric will go and be downloaded. Now what we need to do is get the Fabric API. So you can click that there. You'll be brought to CurseForge, which is essentially um, a site for Minecraft mods and other mods for games as well. You can go and read the description, but to download it, press files to the right, and you can then come down here and see the different files. What we need to do is make sure that it's for 1.21.5. You can see that it is there, and we can come to the right, press the three dots and press download file. Now go and wait for it to download. You'll go and see the countdown there. Once that finishes, it will download. We can then press the back button and we can click on the search here, or you can just select mods below it and you can start seeing different mods. What you can do is use the filters on the left. So you can select game version and select 1.21.5. And you can then go and see the mods which are available for this. And you can also go and select fabric as well, just so it matches the criteria. In this case, I'll get this mod here. This will require balm, which we can get in a moment. But we can go and press files and make sure we get it for 1.21.5 and for fabric. We can press the three dots to the right and press download file. And what you can also do is keep browsing Curse Forge and downloading more mods for 1.21.5. Now this one does need Baum, so we can go and click there. Then we can click Files, and we can go and make sure we get it for Fabric on 1.21.5. Check that there. We've now downloaded what we need. But before we get any further, a big shout out to the sponsor of this video, Apex Hosting. They're my go-to place for a Minecraft server, which I can start playing on with friends. I'll put a link down below in the description and in the comments. And at the moment, you can get 30% off your first invoice. They've got some great features like 24 seven servers and support, so you can get the help anytime you need it. One click install mod packs, making it super easy to play with friends, instant setup, ultra low latency, and much more as well. To start the install process, open up your file explorer and you can press downloads to the left. And what we need to do is go and double click on the fabric installer like so. We can set the version to 1.21.5 and press install, or we've installed it. Now what we need to do is actually install the mods. So press search at the bottom and we can go and open up the Minecraft launcher. At the top, you can press installations and then you want to go and scroll down and you want to go and find fabric loader 1.21.5 and press the folder icon to the right and it will open. Now you can go and scroll down and you can go and find the mods folder, double click on it. And what we then need to do is go and drag in the mods. So I can go and open up my other file explorer. I'll drag in the fabric API and then I had trash lot and also the balm as well. And of course, if you had more, you can keep adding them. And then what you can do is hover over fabric loader and press the play button to the right. Here we are, it's now running. You can see fabric in the bottom left. It's now gone and loaded. And just to show you the mod I installed, I got the trash mod. So as you can see, we then have the trash option in the bottom left of our inventory. 